thing that happens with a good story is that the writer falls under a little spell. <laughs> good actors chase the spell. You're just riding this thing that's way bigger than you. And there it is on film. When I wrote The Good Lloyd Bird, the story I wanted to tell was about a little boy who meets a crazy white man. John Brown. No, no, please! Hi, I'm Deacon Lee. A deacon. John Brown is the greatest abolitionist that started the Civil War. Napkin, napkin. Most people are not taught very much about John Brown because if you teach John Brown, then you are teaching that the Civil War was over slavery. And it's upsetting to realize that this country that you love has been built on really damning crimes. John Brown's life was very complicated, but what I was always concerned about was how would we communicate him to the audience? The story is so hard to tell that the only way to tell it, really, is to tell it with humor. When some things are so bad, you have to laugh at them. That's what makes good stories. And that's how your role started. John Brown's coming to free all the slaves. You best watch your words. Being Onion was a little difficult in the sense that he wasn't really able to think outside himself. He was just worried about how he was going to survive. I'm just telling you what the old man said. You're just a messenger, ain't you? There was an effort to play this narrative out in a way that was childlike, because race is really hard to talk about for all of us. If I'm so free, then why do I do whatever you tell me to do? We are abolitionists, pilgrims. Onion helped us find that innocence that make us special. So we walking all the way to Canada. Yeah. There are a lot of people who were slave owners who really didn't understand the humanity of the people that they were enslaving. You do a disservice to history when you show them as one-sided people. It's not making every single white person look like a buffoon. And it's not making every single black person look like a complete and innocent victim. Robert, would you like to ride with me? Come on, Bill. Ultimately, it's the commonality of the human experience that drives this piece. Get out! Lunatic. This is not a man of all supply. John Brown had conviction. And we admire it. We're talking about him today because it's that rare. We're only outnumbered eight to one. Well, you've always been good at math. People who are ahead of their time always sound a little bit. Well, cuckoo. Oh, crazy. <laughs> <laughs>